Well, I think dietary advising is very easy. If you're worried about weight, you have to eat less, and for health, you have to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and relatively unprocessed foods, and not eat too much junk food, or what they call ultra-processed foods. These are very, very simple uh, pieces of advice. They've been standard in the United States and many other places for 50 or 60 years, and what the Brazilians have done is to take that advice move it into the context of the standard diet in Brazil and frame it in a way that's much more direct than, for example, American dietary guidelines, which tend to be euphemistic. Dietary guidelines have an enormous effect on public policy, sometimes not always in the way that you expect, but for one thing they influence what the food industry does. And so that's going to be a change, hopefully in the right directions, if the food industry gets the message that ultra-processed products are not being recommended, maybe the food industry will start to look for ways in which to do less processing and make the foods healthier. So that's one way. Um, the other is that, at least in the, in the United States, dietary guidelines are supposed to govern federal nutrition policy. And this would affect people who are on food assistance programs, food aid programs, and many other uh, programs in the United States that deal with education. The education is supposed to talk about the dietary guidelines and so forth. Uh, so that's why guidelines are so extraordinarily controversial. If they didn't have any impact, nobody would worry about them. Well, it's kind of embarrassing, but the Brazilians are so far ahead of us in the kind of dietary guidance that they're giving that it would be presumptuous for somebody in the United States to tell the Brazilians what to do, and I'm certainly not going to do that. Obviously, the devil is in the details, and how the Brazilian government and Brazilian public health officials are going to overcome the enormous amount of money that food companies put into marketing unhealthy products is something that I'm hoping they'll figure out how to do so we can copy it.